why the bush was burning and yet not consumed. God spoke to him. This man saw Peter and, 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 and John and paid them attention. And then God's word came to him. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you, my brothers and my sisters, you that are hearing me right now. What are you focusing on? What is your focus? When you focus on anything, you will have an insight to that. But God wants us, because there are many things we could focus on. God wants us to focus on his word. When we focus on God, there will be, there will be, we will hear God. So sometimes our situation might be calling for, might be a point for, to shift our focus. Sometimes the things we call problems, things we don't, our misunderstandings might also make us to see something, may make us to gain focus, to, to, to pay attention to something else. But when we focus on God, when we focus on the things sometimes before us, there is an insight. So pay attention to God's word. There are, things, there are many things you can pay attention to. There are many things calling for your attention. I want to pay attention to the word of God. Read it every day. Read it every day. Read it. Pay attention. Ask God, what are you talking? What, are you, what do you want me to know? What do you want me to see? What do you want me to understand from your word? And you will see. So Peter said to him, though he was expecting to receive money, Peter said, we don't have money to give you. You have focused on all. We are not money. We are men of God. We are not money. We are anointed men, servants of God. We are not money. We bring you life in Christ. What the life that we have, that's what will bring you. We do not bring you money. We bring you the life of God. Moses turned and God spoke. This man paid attention and God spoke. Peter said, silver and gold, I do not have. Such as I have, I give to you the mystery. He had God. Money was his intention, but he heard he got more than money. Our problems, our situations, our circumstances, we must not allow that those to, to make us focus only on the pains. It's not only pains we must see. In it, we can also seek God. In the midst of our situation, confusion, circumstances, or uh, 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 unfavorable situations, or need. We must not see only the pain. We can also seek God in it for a change. We can also seek the help of God in it for a change. There is God's help. We can receive God's help if we seek it. Peter said, silver and gold I do not have. Such as I have, I give unto you. He still had his attention. And by that attention, we know that he, Peter took him. What happened? Because he fixed his gaze on them. He received life. The life in the name of Christ. Let's look at what this lame man received. First of all, we are told the word of God came to him. In the name of Jesus. Hey, there is hope. In the name of the Lord, there is peace. In the name of the Lord, there is power. In the name of the Lord, we say, Blessed is he who comes. In the name of the Lord, there is power. In the name of the Lord. There is peace in the name of the Lord. There is joy in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. His weaknesses had the word. I told you problems have ears. <laughs> Not only the devils have ears, problems have ears. Circumstances have ears. The seas have ears. The trees have ears. Jesus spoke to the tree and he caused it and the tree dried up. Jesus spoke to the waves and the waves became and the sea became calm. The trouble sea became calm. They have ears. Even the lame bones in the leg of this man, when they heard the word of God, the word that created, he said, in the name of Jesus, Bible says, strength came upon his ankles, bones. Strength came in the name of Jesus. I speak to you that is hearing me. In the name of Jesus, let the strength come to your prayer life. Let peace come to your life. Let grace be released to your life. Let joy come to your life. Let Repentance come to your life in the name of Jesus. I say rise up and walk. Number one, life in the name of Jesus is the life of strength. Strength came. Verse 7, strength came to his bones. Dead bones shall rise again. The vision will live again. 
The peace will come back again. The joy will come back again. As he was created, God did not create him lame, but circumstances in the womb made him become lame. So he became, he received strength, strength in the name of the Lord. Secondly, he stood. Whatever has benched you and make you perpetually sitting in problems, I bring you the word of God. The word of God that you hear today will raise you up. You will rise above your problems. The word of God is able to bring you above your problem and stand. Oh yes, you turn your weaknesses into strength. This fence, first strength, second, he stood. Number three, he was walking. They are not, it's not everybody who stands that walks. This man began to walk. He walked. The lame man began to walk. What did he do with his walking? Some people, when they start walking, the first thing they want to go to disco. They want to go to the bar. Well, how many things do we do with our legs each day? Some go to work, which is good. Some go to church, which is good. But some also with their two legs that God enabled them to have, they go to bar, they go to, they go to do crime, criminality, and do bad things to other people with their legs. This man, he got, he stood up and began to walk. With this walking Bible told us, as he, what did he do with his walk? Leaping, leaping and praising the Lord. Rubber dub style, rubber dub style, praising the Lord always. Rubber dub style. Oh yeah, he was he was bouncing, bouncing in the Lord. He was bouncing in the Lord, praising the Lord. The life, the life of a beggar became the life of praise. The beggar became a praiser, a worshiper. He couldn't enter the temple. Now he could enter the, he entered the temple praising God, walking and leaping. Bible says walking and leaping. I, that's walking and leaping. I can imagine him, hallelujah, bouncing in the Lord, bouncing in the Lord. And he entered praising. Oh, yes, without shame, but joyfully praising the Lord. His life has turned morning. God has turned his life from morning to praising, from morning, life of morning to the life of praise. A new dawn, a new day, indeed for him. You that are hearing my word right now, the words of God from my mouth, may it be a new day for you. May it be a new day, a day of praise, a day of joy, a day of rejoicing, a day of peace, a day where the old problems are rolled back to the past of eternity and no more ever in your life again. He began to praise God. And what happened? People saw him and recognized him. Do you know that when everything we are doing, people are seeing and taking notes? People saw him and recognized him. When you come to church and the message starts, you start sleeping. People are seeing you. When you come to church and the time of prayer, instead of praying, you are, you are checking your phone. People are seeing you. And when they ask people who are doing that, they know it's you. When you come to church and you are in the church and your mind is not there, the Bible says we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. People are seeing you. People know. They are witnesses that you are not in the church for God. And when you come to church for God, people also know. Bible said they saw him and they recognized him. What are you recognized for in your church? What are you recognized for in your ministry? Troublemaker? Are you just the one making trouble? In your ministry, you are the troublemaker. In the church, though you are in the ministry, you are a liar. You are the life of sin is still in you. What does people recognize you for? Oh, they may not tell you, but they know you. They know what you are doing. They may keep quiet, but they know. They see the Bible said that they saw this lame man singing, praising, leaping, and praising the Lord. They recognized him. And Bible said the people were full of wonder and amazement. May your life be filled with wonder and amazement. May your life cause wonder and amazement in your community, in your local church, in Dika Hong Kong and Dika Philippines, in Dika Worldwide, in Hong Kong, in, in the whole of Asia. May our lives be a life of wonder and amazement. People saw him. A new life has come in. Life in the name of Jesus is the life of wonders. Life of wonders. He said, he said, signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. My brothers and my sisters, have you changed? Are there signs and wonders in your life? Look at it. Look at his life before he received the new life in Christ. Life of begging. Life of manipulation. His problem was the platform and the opportunity for begging, for manipulating people. Yet in the temple, yet at the gate of the temple, he was not interested in prayer. He was not interested in the word of God. He was not interested in worship of God. He was not even interested in God at all. Or even the people. All he was interested in was their money. What is your interest in the church? 
When you become born again, there must be visible change. If any man is be in Christ Jesus, is in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. A new, are you new? What is new? If you are in Christ and your life has not changed, let me tell you, don't deceive yourself, my brother and my sisters. Don't let anyone deceive you. There, you have not met Christ. The life of Christ, the life in his name is the life of strength. You will have strength above sin. The Bible said that sin will not have dominion over us. You will have dominion over sin. You will have dominion over the flesh because it's not by your power. It's by the Spirit of God in you. It's by the Spirit of God that lives in you. The life of God in you. The life in His name. You go in His name just like you go to the bank with a check. You tender the check in the check. If the amount is $5,000, you tender it. That is what the bank pays. As long as the money is there, that is the life in that. The money in that check. There is life in Christ. Life of praise. Life of praise. No matter how the devil tried to twist it, it's a life of praise. If your life has not changed, my brothers and my sisters, don't let anyone deceive you. You have not met Christ. A new creature. If any man be in Christ, it's a new creature. Behold, all things are passed away. Are all things still present in your life? I don't mean your name, I mean your character. I don't mean you are, I don't mean the color of your dress. I mean your your, your perception of life, your your, your perspectives, your, your your thinking, how you see life. Do you see life through problems? Do you see life through your parents? Do you see life through your country? Do you see life through your circumstances? Do you see life through your problems? I what I am talking about that is seeing life through Christ and living through Him each day. For the just shall live by faith. If you, I know you want to live this life. The life of strength. This beggar had. Jesus gave him strength. I know you want strength. To make you walk where you are failing. To make you rise where you have been depressed. To make you, to get you out of your problem. You need the strength of God. Your own strength has not helped you. Your own strength has not taken you out of that. So you need strength. The strength of God. The strength not of relatives. But the strength that comes alone from God. If you need strength from God today. If you need the life of leaping and praising the Lord, do you need to change the, 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 the identity that you, the old, old shameful, uh, uh, shameful identity, life of defeat that you have been, that people have known you for, or even though people don't know, but you know in yourself this life of defeat, life of pain, life of sorrow and guilt, life of hopelessness. You need the life that is in Christ Jesus. You know the life that is in Christ Jesus. To end the life of hypocrisy. To end the life of deceit. The life of lies. The life of criminality. The life of prostitution. The life of adultery. The life of stealing. The life of shame. The life of defeat. The life of fear. So bringing to an end today is easy. Christ has paid, prepared life. If any man be in Christ Jesus. Jesus said in John chapter 3 verse 3, except you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. So what should I do? Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Come to him for he that hides his sin will not prosper. Come to him and break free from your sins, not by your own power, but, but in the name of Jesus, in the life in his name, you can be free from sin. Ask him to forgive your sins. Give your heart to him. And when I say ask him to forgive your sin, you must have also made decision to stay away from sin. That you don't want to continue in the life of sin anymore. Ask God today. To come in and say, Jesus, Heavenly Father, I believe in Jesus. I believe Jesus is the Messiah, is the Christ. And I believe he said that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I have sinned. I believe in your word that says that if any man asks for forgiveness, you will forgive. And completely, completely pardon me for all that I've done wrong. So come to him today. Come to him right now. Ask him for pardon for your sins. Tell him you believe he's the son of God. Tell him you believe he died for your sins. And ask him to come into your life. 
And you that have believed, you that have said you believe, what changes are in your life? Don't play religion like the lame man at the temple. He was associated with the temple, but not with the powers of the temple. Don't be associating with church, but not with the power, the privilege that is the life that Christ gives to them who come to, his, to, to worship him. Life that God is a giver. How is your life now? Come also to him. Receive strength. Receive mercy. Receive grace. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to believe that you have, you have heard this word and I believe you are blessed. As you pray right now unto God for what you need, reach out to him. God is, has reached out to you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.